hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, in the recent videos related to digital electronics we covered the simplification of uh, boolean expressions using the rules of boolean algebra and we have discussed around uh, 10 or 12 questions related to that so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, another important part of uh, the digital logic expressions or the boolean expressions which is how to design digital logic uh, structures using the basic logic gates to give us a specific boolean output or digital logic output okay so we have already discussed about the basic logic gates okay and or not or inverter universal gates nand and nor then exclusive or exclusive nor okay i have discussed them in separate videos so you please check out those videos in this video and in the next uh, few videos we'll discuss how we can use a combination of those logic gates to give us a specific or desired logic output or digital output okay so let us uh, understand them by some questions we'll start with simple ones and then we'll gradually move on to more uh, complicated or complex ones okay so the first question is to design a digital logic gate or a combination of logic gates to which gives us this output okay so we have to arrange a number of digital logic gates in such a way that the final output is this now whenever we come across any digital expression boolean expression and we have to design a logic gate for that first we have to identify what operations boolean operations are there present in that expression so here the bar on top of a and b it represents not gate because inversion operation is performed so we require not gate this plus sign it represents or operation so we will require or gate and this the multiplication in uh, digital domain it is the and operation so we will require a and gate so i have already discussed about these gates so the not gate it looks something like this the or gate it looks something like this and uh, the and gate it looks something like this okay so we will use the combination of these three gates to give us this logic output i have already discussed them about uh, in detail so you check out those videos okay so first the signal values here are a b and c three signal values are present so let us uh, assign them a b and c now a bar for a bar we have to pass it through a not gate or inverter same for b so we got a bar and p bar now we have to get this a bar plus b bar so we have to pass them through both these signals through a or gate through a or gate this will give us a bar plus b bar now again i will repeat when i say plus it means a bar or 
p bar when i say into or multiplication it means that and that that means i and operation and bar means not operation now we require this a bar plus b bar into c or and c so we have the c here and we have this here so we will give them to a two input and gate which will give us a bar or b bar whole and c so this is the final logic output we got here we got this output is equal to y the final logic output so we got these individual uh, terms a bar b bar then we ordered them together then we added them this signal and this signal and we got the final output okay so here we have uh, another uh, expression which we have to implement again we are taking a simple one which is again here the expression is a bar b plus c bar or a bar b or c bar c bar means not operation so again here the bar represents will require a not gate or inverter this and operation between a bar and b represents we require a and gate and this plus sign it represents or operation so will require or gate so not and and or these are the three logic gates that we require okay so first let us assign the signals a b c okay a b c we got now we need first a bar so we will pass it through a inverter we'll get a bar then a bar b for that we have to pass them through a and gate which will give us a bar b then c bar that we have to pass it through a not gate which will get c bar then the or operation between these two signals okay the or gate so finally we get a bar b or c bar this is the final output so again the same steps first we have to determine what logic gates are required then we have to target the individual terms that are present how to get those terms first for example here first we have to get the term a bar b we got it so it is a simple thing simple expression that's why it uh, uh, it was easy we will move on to more complex and complicated expressions so first we have to determine what logic gates are required then we have to create the individual terms that are present in the expression then we have to get the final expression okay so here we have uh, solved another simple logic expression using digital logic gates we created the uh, we got the output